Hey there, it's Sean Bailey, the Sales Funnel Nerd. In this video here, I'm going to talk to you about how ClickFunnels work. I'm going to give you kind of an overview here. Now, I just want to point out that I'm only going to do kind of the basic uh, introductory version. There's two levels with ClickFunnels, kind of the basic and the advanced. So I'm just going to cover all the stuff uh, in the basic version here. So here we are inside ClickFunnels, and once you've logged in and you're inside your account here, the main thing is to go in and start building funnels. So when you click on build new funnel, it's going to give you some options for the different types of funnel uh, to build here. So the goal, uh, the first is the first stage here, whether you want to collect emails, sell a product, or host a webinar. So if you choose collect emails, it's just going to give us two options, two steps essentially in our funnel, a landing page and then a thank you or a download page. Now if we go back here and we choose sell our product, it's going to ask us whether or not we want to do a sales funnel, a product launch funnel, or a membership site funnel. If we're doing some type of webinar, if we choose that, it's going to ask whether or not we're doing a live webinar or we've got maybe some type of webinar we've done before that works, and we're just using that as an evergreen uh, replay webinar. Or the other option is to click on create a custom funnel, and that will let us build it out however we want. We can put whatever, whatever steps we want in there, and that's ultimately what's probably going to happen. You'll start with a, a funnel template, and then you'll kind of go and adjust it and configure it to suit your own custom needs. So if we take a look inside a funnel that I've built here, you can see once you build a funnel, it's just laid out on the side here in steps. Now your funnel is going to be different depending on how many steps that you have inside your funnel here. But we can see with this one here, there's an opt-in, a sales page, an order page, order confirmation, a members registration page, and then a members area all inside one single sales funnel. So uh, you can do quite a bit with ClickFunnels here, and the nice thing is that it gives you all of the stats that you uh, need to know as far as pe how many people are visiting, how many people are opting in, uh, how many people are purchasing, how things are converting on your sales page, uh, how many members you've got. Uh, it also tracks your email uh, accounts if you don't have some type of email autoresponder, uh, which you should have. Uh, but that all, all that stuff integrates nicely with uh, with ClickFunnels here. Now Actionetics and Backpack, this is all part of the advanced level of ClickFunnels here. Um, all the stuff that I'm talking about today again is just with the basic here. So once, we're, uh, once we've got all of our funnel steps kind of laid out, then we go in and actually edit and do make our changes to uh, our ClickFunnels pages here. So if I click on to edit page and go into this one, we can see once the editor opens up, uh, it's extremely simple to work with inside of ClickFunnels. All I have to do to edit anything is I can just click if it's text, go in and make my adjustments, and type whatever, paste whatever I need to as far as my own sales copy. And then everything else, uh, you just click onto, there'll either be a gear icon or you can just double click, and this will take you into all the settings for each item. But it'll seem initially like there's a lot of things. You might get a little bit overwhelmed, but really once you go in and just start playing around is the best way to learn. Just sit, take an afternoon or you know a day on a weekend and just play around in ClickFunnels and it really doesn't take long to to figure out if you're going to be doing kind of a, a do-it-yourself type of approach with ClickFunnels. So they've got everything broken down into sections, rows, columns, and elements. So elements are the individual little nifty things that you can put in here. So if I click onto all elements, Sorry, if I click on to add element, uh, you can see all the different, it's got them grouped here. Uh, I can see just a list of everything that I can put in. Um, and then it's got them into different groups here. So if I'm just looking into, and maybe I want to put it in like, here we go, a sub headline, because I want to have something underneath this headline. I just click, grab it, drop it in. Now I've got my headline. I click inside and I can adjust, uh, download this now. Now I can't really see it too well against that background. so. I'm just going to click on this gear icon, and here we can see that the text color is set for black. So I'm going to go and change this to, uh, we'll go with a lighter gray. Nope, let's go with white. Perfect. Done. And then I just click save. So really easy to make changes here, and uh, uh, they have a lot of templates for you to work with. Or if you've got, um, if you know anything about their approach to funnel hacking, you can go and make your own custom pages easily in here. I've definitely gone and funnel hacked other people's pages. So that's how you use ClickFunnels as far as using the editor to change your pages. So once I'm inside here, um, that's it. I just go in and make my changes to each individual page. Once I've done that, the only other things that I'm going to worry about here is going into the settings for this page. And then whether or not what I want for the path for my web page here, any tracking codes that I need to put in, 
as well. You can set up your own custom domains if you want. Uh, you can also clone your funnel. If you've got a funnel that you've built out and you've got something similar and you don't want to build another one from scratch, you can just clone your funnel. Here you see all the other integrations for it. Uh, the nice thing about Stripe is you can set it into a test mode, do some test purchases with no problem, and uh, make sure that everything works. It also integrates in with other things. You can see Braintree, Zapier, um, JVZoo, PayPal, ClickBank, Warrior Plus. Uh, so you can, uh, there's a lot that you can do with ClickFunnels once you get going with it here. So once you go in and make any changes inside of here, you can just save an update. Another nice feature that it's got is if you go into your account and you go into digital assets, this will let you set up so that if somebody opts in, they get sent an automatic email uh, containing whatever they want to, whatever type of lead magnet that they opted in for here. So here you can see I've got different PDFs and stuff. So uh, once I'm in the funnel, I just click on to uh, digital assets and then I choose whatever asset that I want from the list here. If I need to add a new one, I just click add new asset, browse to that file on my computer and away I go. So that's about it uh, for ClickFunnels. The only other things are the integrations. Uh, for the basic level. So if I click on the integrations here, you can see I've integrated AWeber and Drip uh, for my uh, email. Uh, but they've got different, you can see all of the different webinar, email services. If I click on to add a new integration, and you can see uh, their list of integrations is many. So uh, overall, it's a great product for building sales funnels. The nice thing is you can really just whether you want to just use pre-made sales funnels and templates and not deviate from those too much, um, or you want to design and build something completely from scratch, it covers both sides of those. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and download your free resource below this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.